Brewers Music. Uh, today I've got this Squire Classic Vibe Jazzmaster. Uh, it's in white. This is actually uh, uh, X Display and it's got just a slight dent in it. So let's pop that on standby. It's just in it's in the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. It's it's just there. Can you see there? So I'll put uh, there'll be pictures with this, uh, which you probably see. Oh, just get the cable. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's something and nothing. Uh, like I say, it's on the back. No one's ever going to see it. Other than that, the guitar is in perfect condition. Uh, there's uh, there's no little dints or anything on it. The uh, even the film is still on the pickups. You've still got this Fender sticker there uh, promoting their online lessons. So yeah, so this is going to be uh, reduced, and it's it literally is this guitar. Uh, so I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, controls on this. You can go from rhythm, uh, which is a more warmer sound, to a more biting, cutting, distinctly Fender tone with the lead as well. Uh, you can flip between them, you can turn the tone up, the tone down, uh, it's got individual volume and tone controls. You can literally get absolutely any sound you want out of this fantastic uh, guitar. These pickups are Fender designed Alnico, quite similar to P90s but they're not. Uh, the body is Poplar, so Poplar is uh, it's a tone wood. But it's very, uh, it's very light, uh, so you, you can feel this. You hold it, hold it there. There's nearly as much weight in the neck as there is the body. Uh, the neck is maple, as you can see there. Maple's a very light wood. Uh, it's good for the the mid range and the higher uh, higher end of the EQ spectrum. So mixed with poplar, that uh, that creates a fantastic blend of, of uh, woods there for your tone. The fingerboard is laurel. It's uh, very similar to rosewood. It feels really good. It, it really does. These guitars, just a little bit about the history. They were first introduced at uh, at Nam. The uh, the famous uh, music industry get together uh, in 1958, and they be, they were originally jazz guitars, hence jazz master, but they got uh, taken over somewhat by the uh, surfers and surf music, which uh, you, you can hear, uh, and then they go on to punks. A lot of punk rockers used them in the uh, mid to late 70s. I think these days the more known in the indie music scene and the alternative music scene which which stems back to the early 80s really you get people nowadays who've got signature models Johnny Marr being one Noel Gallagher plays about three of them live uh, they, they're very much the indie guitar I think it's a fantastic shape it really is uh, very comfortable as well, so you, you've no problem whatsoever reaching turn up, reaching these high frets. It's the uh, it's the 60s as well, so it's it's got a slightly slimmer neck than a, the 50s one. It's classic vibe 60s. Uh, it's got the 60s headstock. Just take that tuner off. I'll show you that. So it's the uh, smaller of the headstocks. It's the 70s one that's that's quite big. Uh, yeah, so I'll just. Uh, 
I'll play a little bit so you get the uh, you get an idea of how it sounds. All right, so yeah. So what can I play? How about we just do a little classic Johnny Marr riff? All right. Turn it on to uh, uh, treble, so lead. So it's a lot thinner, it's more bitey, okay? Back onto rhythm, I'll uh, add a little bit of distortion just uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like uh, with a bit of overdrive. All right. <laughs> Jazzmaster. All right, so check this out. Uh, the the uh, link to buy it will be in the bio. Uh, also, rimmersmusic.co.uk. Uh, I've been Kev. I'll see you again. Thanks for listening. Cheers.